There is fear and anxiety here. Thousands of people are fleeing their homes and looking for a safe place to go. Everything happened in an instant. Taal volcano in the northern Philippines spewed ashes, steam and lava on Sunday. A violent activity not seen for decades. And raising the threat, not just to those living in the provinces of Batangas and Cavite, but even in the capital Manila, where many people also woke up to a city covered in ash. Driving to Batangas was a difficult journey. We came across people desperate to flee, gathering their families together and not bringing anything else except the clothes on their backs. We are being asked to leave and we have nowhere to go. We still have to look for a place and there are still people we left behind. It isn't easy. The roads are bad and we are constantly reminded that we are in a danger zone. While speaking to some of the residents, we felt another earthquake. Okay, we're feeling there is an earthquake, mild. We were told this is because of the volcano's constant activity. Basically what she's trying to say is that they're trying to make their way out of here so they can go to the next possible town, hoping to be able to commute and get to the nearest re relative in the next province. The Philippine government says it is doing the best it can, but admits resources are already stretched. Thousands of people have already been moved to different evacuation sites, unsure when they will be able to return home. The situation here is difficult. There's no electricity and water. The roads are muddy, making it difficult to evacuate people here. Even our trucks are struggling. Taal is one of the world's smallest active volcanoes. It sits in the middle of a lake just a few hours from Manila, a popular tourist destination known for its unique landscape. For people who have lived around the lake all their lives, Taal was a volcano they were raised to love, not one they thought they would fear one day. Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Taal, Batangas, Northern Philippines.